Hey there, Never Long Mystic here. Today I'm going to do a reading here for the Egyptian zodiac sign of Amun Ra. And I didn't have, I don't really have a set of Egyptian cards, so I, but I did find an Amun Ra card just to set here. All right, so this is for anyone whose birthday falls in the date range of Amun Ra. So we have the Magician, and we have the King of Swords so far. I'm going to get one more. Four of Cups. Okay. So with this Magician here, <clears throat> I think it's Dolly himself. On, on this card. With this Magician card, it kind of feels like creating something that, like something a little bit different. Because obviously like the Magician is the manifesty kind of card and you know, having all the tools present, but there's something to do, uh, you know, like with this, like the melting clock, like it's something that's not able to be created with a normal, with like a normal concept of time. I mean, it could be like something really behind the, or it could be something behind the times or something ahead of your time, but there's something to do with the concept of time that's a little bit, it's a little bit different what, what you're creating here. And then we have the King of Swords and it's weird. It's like this this King of Swords feels very stationary as opposed to the fast moving kind of energy that the King of Swords has been through because, you know, he's he's the knight first and then he becomes the king. It's it's very it's kind of like solid grounding here. Yet there's this weird like genie kind of like genie looking image in the background. It's almost like he's like he's holding his sword up like some kind of like tuning device to get some kind of like information from spirit so that he can continue this creation. So what I see here with the four of cups is that at times whatever whatever you're working on here at times it will get a little rough. Like you might feel like people don't believe in you or people think you're crazy or whatever, but this, this, this is the cup of spirit right here. And this is what this King of Swords is tuned into. So just like, it's like, keep listening to this cup of spirit because, cause like, look, you see the tree and like, it's growing a hand tapping you on the head going, Hey, you know, stop, stop focusing on these three cups right here because the most important one is right here. And I do like that um, there is the sun symbol on this card and Amun-Ra, that's, you know, that's the sun. This is actually the sun card from the totem deck. There is a lot of inspiration present. You can see all of the flames. You can see all the flames in the background here. Oh, perfect. See, we have three of crystals and this three of crystals card. It's like, it's like aligning everything together. This is, this, this is a successful venture. This is everything aligned, everything aligned perfectly.
Okay, I'm definitely getting um, keep going. I'm getting keep going with this because we have we have the <clears throat> this is like the moon card. It's Inario Kami, and then we have the Seven of Crystals. So <clears throat> it's like this. There's a lot of work involved here, and it, as long as you maintain your focus, even when even when things seem so like so shadowed or mysterious or I can't figure this out it's like maintaining this this focus right because remember you've got the spirit cup here spirits tapping you on the head like hey just because things look a little a little foggy at night you know just wait till the sun comes out and you're gonna see things so differently so differently So I just want to get a little bit more information on this Inario Kami card because, I mean, it does talk about the difference between night and day. Things at night look different than they do in the daytime. So there is some kind of perspective needed. But the um, Inario Kami is like also like this wise, kind of like this wise fox energy as well. Very, very, like very clever. And it's not, it's not a negative energy. It's not a, you know, necessarily a good energy, but it's not a negative energy. It's just different. So we have here the Three of Cups. Let's see, that's like the sharing. It's like you're meant to share. Whatever this is that you're working on, you're meant to share it. Oh my gosh, Ace of Cups. See, this is something that, like you're so into this. This is really fulfilling for you. And that's why, that's why it hurts so bad when when like you don't feel like you're you're getting the I don't want to say recognition because it's not it's not all about recognition it's like like hindered hindered progress but taking it very personal so we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Chariot. So again, keep going, yeah. I mean, the Chariot, keep going. Even when things look foggy, keep going. Because, you know, if it's, you know, like I said about the whole night and day thing, things look different at night than they do during the day. Shine, you know, give, give the light, a, give the sun, give the light a chance to shine some light on, <clears throat> on the mystery. It's like, man, you're almost finished. Look, it's like you're making this intricate thing here and it's it's a beautiful creation and it's full of fire. It's full of your creativity. <clears throat> you're almost there. You're almost there. I mean, this is a nine. You know what I mean? So keep going. I think that's the biggest thing that's coming out here is whatever you're working on is to just keep going and don't don't be afraid to to let to shine some of that sunlight on 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 what you're doing and this is the message for the zodiac sign of amun ra i hope this helped you in some way and i thank you for embracing your inner mystic and i'll see you next time